Hello, I'm Jeff Newelt, also known as Ja Furry. I'm a social media and PR consultant for a lot of my favorite uh, real life superheroes, like uh, comic book artists, uh, writers, musicians, DJs, new media stars. I, so I was seeing a girl who I really liked a lot and wasn't going on too long, but I definitely liked her a hell of a lot. And one day I wake up to get a text message. It was well, one line that says, can you meet me in the park? We need to talk. And so I don't think there are four worse words in the English language than we need to talk because it either means A, you're going to get fired from the job, or B, what's going to happen to me is going to happen to you if you hear those four words, which means you're going to take a walk and get broken up with by someone. So that is what happened, and I was pretty blue because I actually did like this person plenty. So I walked back along Bedford Avenue to my apartment and within five seconds knew what I had to do to make myself feel better and ensure that I don't uh, kill to do, to do what I had to do. And what I did was I knew that I had to do some very fast Facebook surgery for my own sanity's sake. So what I did was I immediately, the second I got back, opened up my laptop, signed on to Facebook, and I deleted her. I deleted her sister. I deleted her cousin. I deleted her three best friends. And I untagged myself from every photo on Facebook that was taken of me, not by myself, because if I took it myself, then I can delete it myself. So basically within 10 minutes, because this is what I do for a living, I'm pretty adept at swimming in these Facebook waters, I was able to within 10 minutes do the necessary surgery so that I wouldn't be exposed to any information whatsoever about this person, not because I didn't like them, but because I did like them. I mean, what if I wasn't like that? And what if I was someone who just didn't even think about deleting their ex or their friends? And you're at work and you're constantly bombarded with a photo taken of them with someone new or um, news about their sister leaving a little YouTube video on their wall. These are little things that could drive someone potentially insane. So um, I think people need to think a lot more about protecting your own psyches from these uh, automatic feeds that it's great for sending information out there, but you got to protect yourself from all the information that's coming towards you. Uh, this story, I guess, has a, a happy ending in that I wound up uh, getting back together with this lass. After about a week of seeing her again, all of a sudden I look on my computer and I get a Facebook friend request from her. So in this case, her sending a friend request actually said something. And I guess becoming a Facebook friend in that sense was even more momentous an occasion than becoming someone's girlfriend or boyfriend again.